Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This is... This is... I don't even know what this is. This is lesson <laughs> videocast 47 for early intermediate. Early intermediate. And today we have a suggestion from Angela K. Hola, Angela. Hola, Angela. Angela wants us to uh, talk about the difference between hace pasado y hace que presente. Vale. Entonces, nos vemos en la segunda parte. So, Cynthia, we're doing this in English. Okay. Right? Your favorite language. My favorite language. Well, second to Spanish, obviously. Yes. Yeah. yeah Spanish and English. Yes, there. Yeah, exactly. Like Depend, the man, depending on the day. Like the man, <laughs> the man who, um, the man who was waiting, and his wife was having a baby, and the nurse came out, and, and she said, "Your wife's had a baby. What did you What did you want?" He said, "I wanted a boy." She said, "It's a girl." He said, "That was my second choice." <laughs> With the same. Bueno. Except for cursing. Cursing has to be in Spanish. Yeah, yeah, you don't swear you don't swear well in, in English. No. Don't like it when you swear. I, I'm used to it in I Spanish. But in English. It's just the brain goes automatically into Yeah. Yeah. Spanish. Hijo de puta. <laughs> it's just not the same in English, is it? No. Like, no, no, if you want to swear, swear in Spanish. I mean that's why Spanish yeah. people swear such a lot because it's it's because just, it just flows. It sounds just, it's like a language for that. It just it's flows, just, yeah. 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 I suppose just, it's built around swearing, really. No? I, exactly. I suppose German, Germans oh, German. probably swear really well. Oh my God, yes, German. I haven't heard any. I don't know what German swear words are. Second about, week in cool. a row that we're gonna. No. <laughs> we're gonna talk well, about. Well, people German. helped us. Helped us with the, some of the. Give us some interesting comments yes, the last time. True, but so true. German. If you're German, uh, let us know what the German swear words are, and yeah. and, and maybe do a little video, and we'll yeah. even put it up. On, on here, if you want to do a little video to tell, helping us, the, yeah. this, the Spanish equivalent of the German swear word. That would be nice, wouldn't it? That would be nice. Yeah. If, you, yeah. if you're brave enough to do that, we'll put it up. Again, yeah. I have a feeling it's going to be longer in uh, German. Oh, yes. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. Consonant. You know, <laughs> uh, swearing. Two consonants in German, they go. <laughs> Ten consonants. <laughs> you know when they play that game on uh, on TV, like give me a vowel, give me. A, they must, <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> Calm down. They have, to, they have to increase it to like uh, three minutes to do the German German ones. Yeah. <laughs> like a <Yes>. massive, <laughs> massive battle at the back uh, to fit all the words. Yeah, in. they give you about twenty <laughs> words. You got. I've got one word. I bet they don't have that game in that country. I mean, that doesn't who, exist. Who, who, who it's knows? Just, it's not, who knows? It's not doable there. Anyway, let's <laughs> let's let's get down to business here. All right. So, Angela um, K is saying she's from Minnesota. Okay. Um, I'm confused about hace plus time plus k, and then hace plus time. Okay. Right. So let's let's do two examples. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, hace tres años empecé a aprender español. Okay. Okay. So that is three years ago I began to learn Spanish. But then we've got hace tres años que aprendo español. Okay. All right. So the first one is we're using hace and then a past tense. Yeah. Empecé. Yes. The first one will be the ago in, in English. Right. Mm -hmm. So the... And then in the second one, what we're doing is we're saying hace tres años que, and then we're using the present tense, que aprendo español. Mm -hmm. okay. Which would be the, I've been doing mm for the last mm. Okay, so that, yes. that would be, literally, I've been learning Spanish for the last three years. Yes. Which is very different to, I started learning Spanish three years ago. I mean, in essence, I suppose it's the same, no? In essence, it means... I mean, the only difference would be I started. Uh, I, 
empecé a aprender hace, a, hace tres años uh -huh. que eh, hace tres an años empecé a aprender español uh -huh. pero lo dejé después de un año yeah of course then you can change so I let, yeah you could say I started three years ago then I stopped yeah I, let, uh -huh. I, I, I stopped a, a year after uh -huh. but with the hace tres años que aprendo it's for the whole duration of the of the time yeah o oh, another option is que estoy aprendiendo hace tres años que estoy aprendiendo o yeah. que aprendo yeah. but I'm going to tell you a secret Ooh. Cynthia about already knows it yeah, yeah. no, no, in general no, no. about <laughs> Cynthia no, in general <laughs> that probably wouldn't be the first choice if you wanted to talk about I've been learning Spanish for the last three years here in Spain the verb llevar would be I think the first choice, which is llevo tres años aprendiendo español. Yeah, sí. that's the, the one that people go yeah. for straight away, isn't it? ¿Cuánto tiempo llevas aprendiendo español? Llevo tres años aprendiendo español. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So look at the structure. Sí, the, the have been is llevo. Yeah. So I've been learning, llevo aprendiendo. Mm -hmm. So if you look at that structure, llevo, if you want to put the time, tres años aprendiendo. So with llevo... O llevo yes, aprendiendo tres años. Exactly. Yeah. In, no in, in the, uh, the verb llevar, you use it in present tense. Literally, yes, what you're saying is, I am carrying three years learning, yeah, learning Spanish. Okay, that one... I've got that on my back, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Look. A mis espaldas. <laughs> that could be carrying it. Look how it, many years. It could also be huevón. Okay? That, that, that well, I've, here. I don't, yeah. It wouldn't be a huevón if I'm doing it here. And, if and I did it here, then Just yes. out of interest, what, is, what does this mean? <laughs> that? In, well, it, I think it's estar acojonado, ¿no? ¿No? Tener los huevos por corbata. Algo que dice... So what they say, what they say is, when you're really nervous, I mean, I, you or know, scared, it's, it's yes, scared, yes. yeah, when you're really scared, yeah, scared, you're, you end I think up they with can your guess, testicles, they can guess testicles when you here, this, yeah. yeah, so, yeah, por corbata, as a, as a tie, as yeah. a tie, I yeah. wear my, mm, as a tie, okay, so, that, so, if, so, so, this movement, in, or if somebody's like that, if somebody goes, <laughs> what is happening, <laughs> <laughs> e, 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 e. Y sabe este Juan. Hombre, este... Ese Juan. Well, okay, this could be lots of things. This could be boobs as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no Juan. If it's el Juan en this, <laughs> but when you, but I've seen, I've seen people go. Ese Juan. Huevón, no. Okay. I usually it's lower. Lower, lower down? down. Well, I can't do it any lower down lower because down, of my, but, my, yeah. my table. Yeah. Okay. So getting back. I, you see, stop sidetracking me. I haven't said anything. Okay. I was talking about carrying things. And from this, was, you used your imagination. <laughs> it's very... Maybe we should also do a, a one on gestures, eh? Oh, uh, my God. Spanish gestures because they're, they're important. Eh? Mm -hmm. they're, they're really an important part of communication. And when you understand them... You know, you know, and I, I didn't at the beginning, so lots of them, I, I didn't know what people were doing. You know, when somebody walks in doing this, I was thinking, maybe it's hot, maybe the hand's hurting them. You don't do that in the UK? No! Don't know, I haven't really paid any attention. Only when, if we burn our finger, we go, ooh, like, ooh, 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 uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the head movement, did I do that again? Lo que tengo que contar. It's almost like a fan, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's classic. And maybe that's, that's where it comes time. from. Maybe maybe it comes from that. Yeah, the, somebody coming in with it. Yeah. But it's it, the, if somebody's doing this, they've got something really important to tell you. So, and a it's gossip. always gossip. It's a gossip, yeah. Gossip, yeah, about yeah. somebody else. A neighbour. Oh, the neighbour's son, daughter or something like that, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. O Juan. O Juan. Juan. <laughs> Juan el huevo. Uh, the, the, the Juan, the, the builder, we call him Juan because he puts Juan Brick at a time, you know. <laughs> Juan Brick at a time. You can just make any joke with Juan. Juanita. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that was Juanita, no? Juanita, yeah. Juanita. Yeah, which was the maid in, I had in Morocco. Oh, she still God. had all her own tooth. Oh. Yeah. So, um, right, let's get back to this. Yes, please. So, if you want to say a go, then all you're going to do is use hace with the past tense. Yeah, I, with the time frame. So, hace una semana mm -hmm. eh, llegaron los vecinos. No? Mm -hmm. So a, a week ago, the neighbors arrived. Okay. If you're going to say the neighbors have been here for the last week, how would you say that? Okay. The 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 normal way we would say uh, would be los vecinos llevan aquí una semana. Llevan. Los vecinos yeah. llevan aquí una semana. But if you wanted to use the hace, you'd say eh, hace una semana que los vecinos están aquí. So hace una semana que, so hace que los vecinos están, so present tense. So when you use them with the hace que present tense, that's for the last. Yeah? Now I would like you to make those sentences in negative. Okay. So hace una semana que no están los... With, for example, to quit smoking. So give me the sentence in English. Uh, so, in for English. example, uh, I haven't smoked uh, in five years. Okay. Uh, hace cinco años que no fumo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hace right? cinco años que no fumo. Oh, so it's so different in English and Spanish. Yeah, yeah. Can I oh, say, with llevar. Llevo, llevo cinco, cinco años sin fumar. Correcto. Llevo cinco años sin fumar. Sin fumar. So not que no fumo, no? Sin, sin fumar. fumar. Llevo cinco años sin fumar. Hace cinco años que no fumo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. O maybe... Um, I'm trying to think of another way of saying that. Um, oh, it would have to be... La última vez que fumé fue hace cinco años. Right. But that would be the last time I smoked. Yeah. Was five years ago. Uh -huh. But they, they do the same with. Um, hace mucho que no te veo. Hace mucho que no te veo. O llevo mucho tiempo sin verte. Sin verte. So hace mucho que no te veo. Or to, uh, I haven't seen you for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sí. Yeah. Mm. So if you want the easy, one. the easy one is llevo. Yeah, yeah, llevar tiempo. Llevo with the gerund if you want to use it, the ing yeah. form, yeah? Uh, for example, llevo, llevo esperándote una hora. I've been waiting for you for an hour. Mm -hmm. O he estado esperándote una hora. So you can do it the, Eng the English way. He estado, oh. yeah? Or the English can do the Spanish way. Um, oh, hace una hora que te, te espero. Hace una hora que te espero. It didn't sound very natural to me, that one. Que te espero. No, you could say that. Uh -huh. I, mean, I think the, the first choice would be llevar. Mm -hmm. Llevo una hora esperándote. So when somebody says to you, ¿cuánto tiempo llevas? Mm -hmm. Typically, they want to know how long you've been there, okay? Or how long you've been doing whatever. ¿Cuánto yeah. tiempo llevas aquí? How long have you been here? ¿Cuánto tiempo llevas aprendiendo español? Learning Spanish. ¿Cuánto tiempo llevas... Um, de profesora as a teacher so how long have you or how, yes how long have you been yeah yeah, yeah. so is the I've been llevo llevo cinco años llevo seis meses llevo una hora llevo mucho tiempo mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> entonces eso es todo eso es todo eso es todo muy bien Ángela K Muchas gracias por gracias. la sugerencia. Pero antes de irnos, if you are early intermediate, advanced beginner, yeah. around that level, maybe heading up or, or beyond, then this book could be something that will help you. This is th this is the first book that we ever wrote. Cynthia. It is. It yeah. is. And this is Victor's Adventures. Well. Victor's Adventures in Spain. And lots of people have said to me, Gordon, is Victor, are you Victor? <laughs> and I reply always, 
Um, 60% yes and 40% no. Because Now you have to guess which 60%, yeah? And which oh, no, no, no I'll, I'll let you be the, the, <laughs> the judge of that. But this book, th this book has, um, it's a parallel textbook. It starts off in present tense. Mm -hmm. And then it works its way through into the past tense. So it takes you through on a very slow journey through. And every chapter has exercises to do. It has and the tons, audio. tons of audio. Cynthia reads the whole story in Spanish. Um, and so there's, there's tons of stuff. And there's also a vocab builder in here yes. and everything. This is a great book uh, as a starter if you, want to, if you really want to study. Yeah, so... There you are. You can get that on Amazon. It's called Victor's Adventures in Spain. Okay. Las aventuras de Victor <laughs> en España. Entonces, chicos, eso es todo. Nos... Oh, and keep on sending in your your um, uh, your suggestions. Eh? The, we, 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 any suggestions we get, we, we add them to our list and we, we do them. Yeah? We do them. But if you're serious about suggestions, then you can go on to our section... Ser Socio, which you'll see on our website. And um, if you join us in Ser Socio, then you can send your suggestions. And not only we do the suggestions, but we also do homework on your suggestions. We do the transcript of the conversation and the translation of the conversation, plus all the videos hmm. every yeah. month. Two every week. Two every week. Two every exactly. week, yeah. Okay, entonces chicos. Ya nos hemos vendido lo suficiente. <risa> eh, nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.